Hi, and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your Tmux environment so you can change your pane colors to be something other than what the default values are. So to give you an idea, this box here with my cursor and where I'm typing commands, the way I know that I'm selecting it is because the pane is selected by this green line, which is pretty difficult to see and all the inactive windows are um, indicated by the white border lines. And then another problem that I want to address is I do not like the color of this clock. For me, it's difficult to see and I have to be up close to my computer in order to know what the time is. So just to show you what happens whenever I move from one pane to the other, try to follow this green border to see where I go. Now I know where it's going, but it does make this a little bit more challenging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close out all of these windows here. And we're just gonna start and we're gonna modify our Tmux configuration. So the first thing that you wanna do is to be in your home directory, as I am here, home and then my username. And then we want to modify our Tmux configuration file. So I'll do this. And what we want to do is insert the commands, or I'm sorry, the, um, the initialization options by typing set minus G for the global value, pane border, foreground, and then the color that you want. So this is not going to be the active border. This is gonna be the inactive border. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my inactive border to be blue just because it's kind of a honking color that will stick out. Um, I'm sorry, it's the opposite. It is not a honking color and it won't stick out. And then the second option is set pane active border style and then FG equals, and I'm gonna use yellow because that is a lot different than blue and is a good contrasting color. So let's do that. So in case you're following, these are all that's needed to make those changes happen. Okay, cool. So in order to use this new configuration, we first have to kill Tmux completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and type exit. All right, and pgrep Tmux in case silly me left Tmux open somewhere else. Okay, so it's not running. So let's run it again. All right, and of course we don't know yet because we have to first create our new windows. So let's create our new windows. So we do prefix key followed by double quote, prefix key followed by percent, um, prefix key arrow keys to move of course, and then prefix key, double quote, prefix key, percent. Okay, and I'll just go back down and I'll just do a few more splits just so we can follow this. Okay. So yellow to me is a little bit easier to follow. So I think I'm going to stick with this theme here. And then another problem that I want to address is if I bring up the clock, it's blue. And of course, that's not the color that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And we're going to modify that config file one more time. So control D, control D, control D, control D, control D, control D. Control D and then I'll type exit here, vi.tmux.conf. Then we just add the values, set option minus G, clock, mode, color, <laughs> and then uh, the colors that we want. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and right quit this value here. I'm gonna type tmux. And let's check out our clock, prefix T. All right, that looks better. 
So just to give you an idea, let's go ahead and look at the changes. These are the only changes that we've made, and that's pretty much it to um, changing your um, your pane border colors along with your clock colors. And this is going to be important because we do plan on scripting this whole setup to make this just one small command to get everything working as expected. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Until next time.